John. I remember the first day I met you. I remember opening the door and there you were, looking to your left. You wouldn't even look at me, but you had the biggest, brightest smile on your face, which I'll never forget. Before we even met, you told me you were scared to meet me. You were scared to fall in love with a Texas girl because you knew you would. Well, today and from now on, you don't have to be scared any longer. I'm here to be your wife and your lifelong teammate, which I've dreamed of since I was a little girl. I pray that you wouldn't steer too far away from the path that God intended you to be on. I promise to show you every day how lucky I am to have you as my husband. John, I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle and you smiling so big. You're the most handsome man in the world, and I can't wait to do it. In 1 Corinthians 13, it is stated that love is patient and kind. I thank you for having the patience to allow me to grow into the man before you here today with a kind heart. It also states that love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. With God by our side, we shall always bear good fruit. I shall always believe in His word and my love for you. My hopes are replaced by faith and unconditional love that shall endure all things. Reagan, this day is going to be the greatest day of my life. I couldn't have been prepared for it any better than practicing loving you. I look forward to making this covenant with God and with you, leading this family, and being the man that God called me to be for my life, for yours, for Jaylee's. I want every day to be today. I want to love you more today, 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 every day. I'll always love you more. Four years ago today on this very day, my grandmother passed away. And at her funeral, they told everyone that she was a perfect example of a Proverbs 31 woman. I had the best role models growing up to be an amazing God-fearing wife that I will be there to love and to support you and be the best wife I could be. I know she's looking down on us and so proud of who I've become. I know our love is stronger than anything that we may go through in our future and I vow to never give up on our marriage, to push harder than I've ever pushed before. I vow to forgive more than I hold on and I promise to always be honest no matter how bad it may hurt. I vow to always be faithful, not only in front of you, but also while you're away. I vow to respect, admire, and appreciate you for who you are as well as the person you wish to become. I promise to listen and help you accomplish all of your wishes, your desires, and your dreams. I promise to keep our lives interesting, adventurous, and full of passion, and I'm so incredibly blessed that you chose me over anyone else to be your wife, always and forever.
Reagan, I'm so in love with you and I'm so excited for today. Um, no, there's no amount of roadblocks in the world that could have kept us from getting to this point. Um, you know, we've been persistent in living life right and loving each other properly, living in God's will and His way. And I just look forward to the future with you more than anything more than anything on this earth. It's difficult to see the future because the feelings that I have inside of me now are so overwhelming, I couldn't imagine them. I thought I could. I thought that I'd be able to have some type of grasp on the emotions I'm experiencing, but I'm just overwhelmed with joy. I'm ready for tomorrow <laughs> to keep building on our love. I just I want every day to be today. Like, I want to love you more today today, today, every day. I'll always love you more today.